L M G. Light machine guns sure do not look light, and you only get one in the base version of this game. But how about we take a look at these anyway? Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Payday 2 ranking video where I take certain aspects of Payday 2 and rank them from worst to best. Previous videos in this series include worst to best heists, DLC, loot, music, heisters, contractors, money, XP, shotguns, SMGs, melees, assault rifles, perks, and skills. If you enjoy these types of videos, please make sure to subscribe for more and click the link in the description to the playlist that has all these and future videos in there. So LMGs, the good old spray and pray weapon of Payday 2 that saw a rise in their use just a couple of years back, and are amongst the favourites of many. Within Payday 2 there are only 6 LMGs, not a huge number to rank and definitely not deserving of a holy shit. Now these big tank looking weapons have some of the largest ammo pools in the game, some pretty terrible accuracy and stability and don't allow you to aim down sight for better aiming. Oh, and did I forget the abysmal reload times? But what that amounts to is a lot of fun with the right skills, where just landing shots becomes the fun, and fire hosing down hallways with your finger on the trigger letting loose some 200 bullets in a magazine just feels amazing. Some of these LMGs will allow you to hold down the trigger for over 13 seconds before requiring a reload, that's some quite impressive damage output. Now as far as skills go here, if you are a player that just loves to hold down the trigger and not control the recoil that much, skills that complement this style will be surefire aced and body expertise. Here you'll be able to pierce enemy armour with all of your shots and apply some of that headshot multiplier to bolster the damage on body shots. With that being said, let's look how the LMG class is structured. First off, there's the easy divider straight away of being the damage statistic. Three of the six have a base damage of 80 and the other three have a base of 120. In usual fashion, there are of course other statistics that restore the balance of power, giving the higher damage section lower total ammo, low fire rates, lower ammo pickup and lower stability. As I mentioned at the start, only one of the LMGs is part of the base game and the other five are hidden behind paid DLC. Three come in one weapon pack, which is the Gauge Weapon Pack 2, and then one in the Gauge Historical Pack and the other with the more recent Fugitive Weapon Pack. Anyways, enough of that, let's jump right into the list and see where they all rank. The Brenner 21. In Payday 2, the Brenner, in real life, the Bren. The Bren gun was a series of light machine guns made by the British in the 1930s and used up until 1992. This weapon was used in World War II, the Korean War and the Falklands War. This LMG can be fitted with a bipod and also be mounted on a vehicle or tripod. The weapon accepts a 7.62 by 51mm NATO roller delayed blowback cartridge which are belt fed from a 150 round box. The Brenner is part of the Gauge Weapon Pack 2 as I mentioned and has the second lowest fire rate of all LMGs. It does sit with the highest damage group but of course comes with low base stability, low total ammo and the slowest reload and some odd modding available. The best accuracy and stability I could achieve with this weapon was mid 60s for both stats. There are concealment increasing mods for this one which leads you to believe it's worth running with sneaky bastard or low blow skills to gain extra dodge or critical hits. However a detection risk of 29 was the lowest I could possibly get, only awarding you with an 18% critical hit chance through low blow aced. Sadly, when you mod for concealment, you remove a lot of gain in the accuracy and stability stats, making this a poor choice. Another route to go with the Brenner and the other 120 damage LMGs is to mod for a very slight damage increase and make them a two-shot headshot kill on heavy swats on death sentence. Base damage sits at 120 plus the 5% damage increase from the Fast and Furious card in all perk decks. Now this gets us to 126. You need to get this to 128 in order to make a headshot land on a heavy swat do 480, meaning two shots would reach the 960 needed. This is debatable if you feel this is necessary on an LMG and their bullet hose nature with inaccuracy and stability, but just know it's an option. The RPK the RPK or Rushoi Polemiot Kalashnikova is a Soviet weapon utilizing 7.62 by 39mm drum mag fed ammo. It was developed in parallel with the AK assault rifles sharing visual similarities as a result. The RPK continues to be used by the armed forces in the former Soviet Union and some African and Asian nations. Production of this weapon also extends from Bulgaria, Romania and Serbia. Another member of the gauge weapon pack number 2 and also one of the higher damage LMGs. The RPK is very similar to the Brenner before it in many ways, low stability, low accuracy, its damage, fire rate and total ammo. The differentiating factors here are the slightly lower mag size but its faster reload, a full 2 seconds quicker. 
The other redeeming quality of the RPK is its ability to be further modded, to actually achieve the detection levels needed for full low blow crits or sneaky bastard dodge. Modding for high stability and accuracy will get these stats reasonably high. Stability can reach as high as 80 and accuracy in the 60s. If you do mod to conceal, then these values will drop off into the 40s. This is also one of the better looking LMGs in the game, but that doesn't really matter here. The M60. The M60 machine gun originates from the USA and was utilized in such wars as the Vietnam, Afghanistan and Persian Gulf. Officially known as the machine gun, it's fed by a 7.62x51mm NATO cartridge from a disintegrating belt of M13 Lynx. The real M60 LMG is a proof of several types of alternate ammo types including ball, tracer and armor piercing rounds. These would be some great additions in future Payday updates or games. This weapon was very strong when it first came out with a Fugitive Pack DLC. It has since seen a couple of hits to its effectiveness, most recently a reduction in its total ammo pool from 400 to 300, matching the other high damage LMGs, and then a narrowing of its ammo pickup range. Not concealable at all, the M60 does have the highest base accuracy of all LMGs at a medium 56, but lack of modding ability means that you will max out your accuracy and stability stats in the mid 70s, with all skills helping. Where this one really falls down is its fire rate, 30% slower fire rate than the previous two LMGs and with LMGs on the list that are almost double this fire rate, it makes the M60 feel very sluggish and less effective. The KSP-58 the KSP-58 is a Swedish developed LMG taking its name from the Swedish Kulspruta, meaning bullet sprayer. This is a Swedish variant of the Belgian FN Mag general purpose machine gun and has been in use by the Swedish army since 1958. The original KSP-58A was chambered for 6.5x55mm ammunition while the later B model were chambered for the 7.62x51mm NATO rounds. So this LMG is the base game LMG available, so it better be good right? Well it's medium. It is part of the lower damage section of LMGs, outputting a base damage of 80. Where on the higher LMGs you need to find 2 extra damage to make them a 2 shot headshot kill on death sentence, here you will need to find just 1 extra damage to make it a 3 shot headshot kill. This of course has some effect on your ability to mod for accuracy and stability if you go that route. The KSP-58 can be modded to a respectable 80 accuracy and 8 stability or variations of that depending on your preference, which also incorporates skills to enhance those stats. There is a strange mod for the KSP-58 in the form of a short barrel. It offers nothing but a plus two concealment boost which seems very strange as fully modding this LMG out for concealment I only managed to land a detection of 32. Utilising low blow ace for critical hits it would only yield a 9% crit chance so it barely seems worth the loss in accuracy, stability and skill points to even do that. Either way this one is free so enjoy it. The KSP the paid big brother of the previous offers slightly more in terms of modding and statistics when modded. Identical stats to the KSP-58 regarding mag size, total ammo, fire rate, damage and stability. The KSP loses out slightly on base accuracy but has a faster reload by almost one second. The 4 less base accuracy can be modded away to leave this KSP with higher overall accuracy and stability stats over the 58 variant. 84 can be achieved together in accuracy and stability here or variations of that depending on which you have a preference for. The buzzsaw. In Payday 2, the buzz saw in real life the MG42. Shortened from the German Maschinengewehr 42, the LMG is a 7.92x57 Mauser general purpose machine gun, designed in Germany and used during the second half of World War II. The MG42 was designed to be low cost and easy to build and proved itself to be highly reliable and easy to operate. Its use of full power service cartridges bolster the high rounds per minute fire rate. It seems as though Overkill garnered the in-game name Buzzsaw from a real life nickname associated with a German dictator from the 1930s and 40s. It did however carry some other fantastic nicknames not associated with that aforementioned person. Those include Fast Sprayer, Bonesaw, Electric MG and my favourite the Gonorrhea Syringe. This LMG was delivered to us via the historical pack. It shares the damage stats with the two KSPs before it, along with base stability, and has a similar accuracy and reload time. The separating differences here are the slightly lower mag size, but the highest in class total ammo. The two real winners for this LMG are its insane SMG speed fire rate of 1200 and the ammo pickup rate that accompanies it, averaging over 17 ammo per box picked up in my tests. This is the true king of damage spraying death down hallways. Accuracy and stability can again be modded to 84 and 84 apiece or choosing the increase in one over the other if preferred. Whichever way you slice it, equip this fast sprayer, coil it up and go full gonorrhea syringe on everyone's ass. 
So there we have it, a short but fun list of weapons to rank. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favourites in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.